Things to consider before building an e-commerce website The actual e-commerce website cost is a big part of the decision-making process. However, you want to make sure that you are actually choosing an e-commerce solution that can meet your business needs. Plus, if you outline what you need now, you won't pay for anything extra or need to buy add-ons down the road. 1. What type of online store are you looking forward to? The type of online store you are envisioning is an important factor in the creation process. A store that sells products is different from a store that sells services. If you plan to sell products, approximately how many different products or models will you include in your online store? Are you selling to other businesses B2B or consumers B2C? Be as specific as possible during this part of the planning process. Some services or products may have different requirements for features in your online store. These requirements will help you narrow down the list of e-commerce platforms to consider. For example, will you need a store with more than one language? Or will you need a store that has separate login capabilities? 2. Are you planning to sell your products online? Or, do you already have a brick and mortar store? Many brick and mortar retailers are adding an online store, especially in 2020. Selling products online in addition to having a physical storefront allows small businesses to go global and or provides the option for customers to shop and pick up online. Store BOPIS. Any of these options can expand the reach of a business, but it's also something you'll want to keep in mind when looking for an e-commerce solution. Selling products online also means managing inventory and handling shipping more on this in a bit more. If you already have an inventory management system that works for you, look for an e-commerce platform that integrates with it unless you're willing to use a new solution that already works for the platform. Is the part of 3. What is your e-commerce development budget? Once you start researching e-commerce solutions, it's really easy to be taken aback by all the different custom designs and features options. This is why it is important to reduce your e-commerce development budget ahead of time. Which features do you absolutely need? Which add-on would be good to get? Make your list and stick to it so that you stay within your budget. 4. What are your shipping options? Once your online store opens, it's time to start thinking about the shipping options you want to offer. What is your ability to handle shipping needs? Will you outsource shipping or manage it in-house? Will you have global shipping options? It is up to you what you want to offer. Additionally, when it comes to payment options in your online store, you may want to consider similar ongoing e-commerce costs to consider some costs of having an online store are just upfront costs, but others are ongoing, whether they are monthly, annually, or per transaction. Most likely, you'll be able to forecast these costs each month or even per year so they don't come as a surprise. Here are some of the ongoing costs related to e-commerce functionality to consider, data backups. This ensures all of the information stored on your site will be kept safe, no matter what. Without regular data backups, you could lose money and even customers. Costs surrounding data backup usually depend on the size of your site files. Inventory management. An online store is going to have some sort of inventory associated with it, along with shipping costs, even if these are handled through a third party. Security. In addition to your SSL certificate, you'll want security software to protect your business and its information from outside threats. This is usually a monthly, subscription-based fee. Email marketing. Regular communication with potential and current customers can help maintain your revenue stream. Some email marketing solutions may have free plans or a monthly cost, depending on the size of your email contacts list. Product marketing. Other digital marketing efforts such as SEO, pay-per-click PPC ads, and social media will require a budget of some sort. Product marketing will help increase your brand awareness to direct traffic to your online store. Conclusion It's possible to launch an e-commerce site for less than Rs. 10, OOO depending on the features you need for your business to succeed. Since there are many different aspects of an online store, you can pick and choose exactly what you need and only pay for those items. When you do the work up front, you won't be unpleasantly surprised at the initial price tags or the ongoing costs. Putting your business online provides great potential to improve your reach and increase sales. Make the calculations now and decide if it's worth the investment for your business.